Morning YouTube, it's Trev here. Something or nothing. Trev the hair. Hiking, backpacking, wild camping, general outdoors channel. If you're new to the channel, if you want to see budget kit reviews or a lot of walks and wild camps, then this is a great channel for you. And today it's another kit review. This time I'm talking about hiking socks. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and share as well. I was lucky enough last year to get offered the opportunity to review some hiking socks and I was bought 10 pairs of socks to have a look at. Now, I haven't got all 10 here, but I've got the best ones out of those, which I still wear regularly. It was a bit strange. Oh, I had a couple of weeks to do the review of all these socks and I just, yeah, yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, that sounds great. But reviewing socks, really difficult, especially when you can only go out with them in, in a morning and you just, you don't notice socks, you know, it's really, at the time, I didn't realise how difficult a task it was going to be. My review is up on Restless Backpacker, but I've had time to sort of adjust to these, so it is going to be a completely different account. I'll put links below for all these socks on Amazon. The first one is the Beleaguer Blister Resist, fetching in pink and purple. High performance athletic quarter socks quarter socks they only sort of come up just above your ankle they blend natural mohair and dynamics for blister prevention synthetic dynamix moisture to keep feet dry while soft mohair regulates temperature and minimizes friction microfiber mesh ventilation panels and a wide arch band eliminate pressure marks provide support and promote circulation seamless construction high volume cushioning Ensures comfort for extended training. Yeah, you can feel that in the heel and in the, the sort of sole. They are thicker than they are at the top. Now, these are really comfortable. I wear these out in my trainers. They're still going. You know, I've had them over a year now. Now, all the walking I've ever done, I've never had a blister. Touch wood. Probably get one. They grip your foot really well. They don't leave an impression. Nothing's too tight. So, yeah, a nice sock. That's the Belega Blister Resist. The second sock I'd like to discuss, the Icebreaker Merino Men's Hike and Light Crew Sock. The beauty of Merino wool is that it can absorb a high amount of moisture and it keeps its insulating properties whilst wet. That's why a wool sock is preferred. So anyway, this is 61% wool, 37% nylon. It's, they're anatomically sculptured and these, they're just so comfortable, really comfortable. They're a little bit more expensive than the Belega sock. They come right up over the ankle, so I can wear these in boots. I tend to wear these in my Solomon boots. The heavier boot, I wear a heavier sock, but this is a lightweight sock. These go in my trainers as well. Again, they've got thicker soles and heels, so you're not gonna wear out so quick. Yeah, I really like these. These are one of my favorites. They get picked quite a bit for when I'm going out. So that's the Icebreaker Merino Men's Hike Sock. Another trainer sock next. It's the Smart Wall Run Sock. I didn't like these when I first wore them. I thought they were a little bit too tight, but I was looking for things to say and I probably wouldn't have noticed they was tight, but I was just looking for stuff to write about socks. <laughs> these are brilliant. Again, you can feel they've got a harder heel and a toe. Let's read some of the details. Warm insulation, a comfortable fit that they are. You know, like I said, they was tight at first. I mean, I've got a few sort of ankle socks and the amount of socks I've got that are ankle socks that keep popping over the heel of my foot and don't actually stay on my ankle. Care instructions. So I can't remember how you're supposed to wash them, but you could probably take more care of them than I did. But having said that, I just stick them in the wash. I mean, I'm not going to do a separate wash for socks. So they just end up in the wash. And again, they have been fine. They've lasted. They've been comfortable. They're durable, yet breathable. They are 56% merino wool, 41% nylon. And the rest is elastane. Another trainer sock that, yeah, I highly recommend. These are the Fermalica Luxury Sock. They're 80% merino wool. They go over your calf, they're long, they're really thick, they're great for winter. 
they are soft and comfortable. They're elastic all the way up, so it's not just the top bit that you're relying on being elastic. The whole, you can see this is all elastic up here, and it just grips to your foot really nice. But it doesn't pinch off for your circulation. It sort of compresses over your foot rather than cutting off your circulation. Look how stretchy they are, but they spring back. They're really, really comfy, really warm, but brilliant in a bigger boot. I will wear these in a bigger boot. A little bit more expensive, but I'd buy these socks again now. I was just buying sort of Caramore socks for hiking, um, but when you feel the quality difference, it definitely pays to have these. And these, I remember they come in a really, really tidy little box as well. And it's quite exciting opening them. A um, bit gimmicky, I'm sure, but yeah, they're Fermalica luxury sock highly recommend who's next who's next then right these are the danish endurance merino hiking socks again as the ones before these are really comfortable really warm uh, merino wool again the designed in denmark made in europe our danish endurance design team develops these socks in copenhagen denmark in addition the merino wool we use is sourced in an animal friendly way these hiking socks are developed with mountaineer Rasmus Krag, the first Dane to climb Mount Everest without the use of supplement oxygen. Rasmus is continuously testing our socks to ensure the highest standards of performance. So that's also good to know. But yeah, they are very comfortable. Again, these, I go out in these quite a bit. Put these on under my thicker boots. They're a nicer boot for that. They're not as thick as these ones. These are more for winter these you could sort of wear all year round again they're a bit more stretchy just at the top i wouldn't say these are made as well as these but they are still really comfy i've never had any of these socks slip these ones here have lost quite a lot of shape where i've washed them but as soon as you get them on your foot they stretch around your foot they have been fine so i also had to review this danish endurance sock and it's like look at it it's like a pair of tights and i thought when am i ever going to wear that you know, it's not really ideal for around here. And I was testing them in the middle of the summer and yeah, they was hot and it's like, of course they're hot. These are a thick sock. These are the Danish Endurance Alpine Performance Socks. Again, Danish Endurance, they collaborate with people in the outdoors. And this is designed in collaboration with a former Navy SEAL. They got wide arch ankle braces and wicking ventilation zones to control the temperature. But yeah, I was saying I tested these in spring, summer last year, but I finally got to really test them. Romania, when I went to Romania last year and was climbing up in the mountains, I had these on and my Solomons. My feet were toasty. They come right up your legs, so it keeps your legs warm as well. So if you're gonna be doing any sort of expeditions like that into snowy, wintry mountains, these I would definitely recommend. Um, really comfortable. All sorts of garish colours. Now we're getting into my two favourite pairs. These are so comfortable. See, when I reviewed these, I started my reviews in. Although these socks include ventilation zones to optimise breathability and the displacement of any moisture, the Smart Wall Outdoor Sock actually created quite a lot of heat during my walk. I don't know, I was looking for things to say, as I said, because I had like six miles each walk to review a sock. But these are comfortable. The, they're really lightweight. You hardly notice you're wearing them. Yeah, trainer, boot, doesn't matter what you wear. They're good, they're grippy. Material type, merino wool. I've put they're good for autumn, winter, but they're, you could wear them any time of year. A really nice sock. And uh, yeah, they're one of my favorites. They tend to be one I put on more often than not, so. And then my real favorites for hiking in the winter especially in the winter, but in my thicker boot. These are called the Darn Tuft Cushion Boot Sock. Now again, they got the sole and the toe is extra thick, nice and light on the top. Again, elasticated all the way up and real warm there. They keep your ankles warm. They grip your foot. They don't cut off your circulation. What does it say about them? 61% merino wool, 36% nylon, and the rest is lycra. Performance fit, no slipping, no bunching. No blisters. 
unprecedented durability and our unique put it on forget it's on feel and I, I can attest to that now these are quite an expensive sock but I do love them I wear them all the time and sometimes you're paying for these like free pairs for a tenner in the shops and then you don't realize until you're wearing these how uncomfortable sort of your cheaper shop socks that you think are decent for hiking are um fast action wicking pulls moisture away from the skin fast drying naturally antimicrobial repels bacteria and odor merino wool the ultimate fiber for breathability and uh, made in vermont usa yeah a great pair so that's the darn tough merino wool boot socks so there we go that was a look over these socks after a year of wearing them all links below if you like this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and uh, we'll see you soon cheers